I just want to be able to inspire other people who are thinking, you know, I don't know, maybe, I don't know if I could do this, you know, it seems so hard, it's tough. I mean, I would just say, just, just go do it. You know, don't, don't bog yourself down with a lot of planning. Planning is great, you know, but then sometimes you have that analysis paralysis thing, you know, you're always analyzing and not moving forward. So I would say just, just, uh, just move forward, you know, and, and while you're moving forward, inspire people as you're being inspired. Hi, dear. My name is Omar Brown and I'm from Montego Bay, Jamaica. Life before the Kale Cafe just uh, consisted of um, basic 9 to 5 or 12 to 8. Um, computer network engineering is pretty much all I did. And I worked mainly at nights, so it was kind of tough to see my family. Kids would wait up for me and that kind of thing. Has the community accepted us? Absolutely. If it wasn't for the community, we wouldn't be here. Um, from other small businesses just giving us advice to people we don't even know giving us money, believing in our dream. Our biggest supporter has been the community. Um, at, at different times we've had people close to us who may not necessarily believe in our dreams but you know once we put it out there to the community uh, there were, it was instantaneous. It was like yeah you guys rock, we love what you're doing continue doing it and you know they'll inspire us and keep us going when there was nothing but fumes left. Oh what inspired the Kale Cafe? Well we always wanted a place uh, where we could have um, our families. We wanted to create a space that everyone would feel comfortable in and that was the, the living room. Um, we want to create a space where our kids could play you know they're homeschooled um, where we could eat food that we like, you know, so when we don't have something like that, we create it. In five years, my five-year plan is to have 30 cafes um, and not to be involved in the cafes intimately like I am, to be, of course, uh, to step back, have my chefs and managers and general managers run them, and uh, hopefully, you know, 10 years, maybe 300 uh, franchises. The biggest reward is having people that haven't tried a plant-based diet, haven't tried a green smoothie, kids that haven't tasted anything that's healthy and tastes super good, and they're like, whoa, you know, I'm converted. I love this smoothie. This is amazing. Why didn't I eat like this before? Is there anything that I would change? You know what? I don't think so. Um, we, it was, um, it was an arduous task um, setting this place up. And, um, I think that the whole process uh, changed me, you know. I look at things through different spectacles, so some kind of paradigm shift happened and you, um, you get to appreciate a lot of these things, things you have no idea about, you, the unexpected, you have to knock things out, um, you can't be afraid of problems and issues. It taught me that as soon as they pop up, you just knock them down, you know. And, it's just gotten us into that practice. Anytime there's an issue, a problem, controversy, whatever, we just, we just knock it out. There's no other way, the buck stops here, so we have to handle it. So it's taught us a whole lot. Resilience. <laughs> Cafe is the place to be. Vegan living is the life for me and me. Making smooth is what we love to do. Help us kickstarter so we can make smoothies for you. you.